Um, and the ulama, and Imam Nawawi, again in his commentary on Sahih Muslim, has some useful things to say here, says that uh, the, the zahir of these hadith is that Allah at that moment creates a tamyiz, a kind of discernment in those entities. Um, that it is possible for something in the created order that isn't human to have a kind of consciousness, which is why the Mount uh, Uhud can love the Holy Prophet Sallallahu uh, Alaihi Wasallam. And uh, also in the case of the animal world, we know that one of the, the, the distinctive features of, of the sunna is kindness to animals. And um, the, the, the وَلَكُمْ فِي كُلِّ كَبِدٍ رَطْبٍ أَجْرٍ that the Holy Prophet وسلم, is asked, shall we be rewarded for kindness shown to, to animals? And he says, you'll be rewarded for a kindness done to every... every uh, wet or moist liver, which means a kind of uh, uh, animal rather than a plant or an insect. Uh, and there's a number of hadiths like that, and that wouldn't really make much sense that there could be ihsan to uh, a living thing if it didn't have some kind of consciousness and ability genuinely to interpret the fact that it was experiencing pain in a way that, for instance, a plant, plant couldn't. So Imam al nawawi says, yes, there is a, a tamyiz in those things. And there's many stories of, of ulama who have been able, in some sense, to communicate mysteriously with, with, with animals and to have a particular relationship with animals. And some of my own teachers were able to do that, one of my teachers was well known in, in, in East Africa. If um, animals came out of the forest and were terrifying people, or if cows had broken out of their enclosure and were lost in the forest, they would send for him, even though he was kind of old man with a stick, because they knew he could just stand in the field and somehow, in an hour or so, those natural forms would be back in their appropriate place. And many Muslim cultures have experience of people who are able to do that. Uh, but that's not rule. That's not really consciousness in the sense that human beings can have it, that Adamic highest consciousness, that theomorphic consciousness of having all of the names. Uh, because uh, a rock or a cow or a bird can't have all of those qualities um, in the sense that human beings can have them, saying that Adam had them. And you can't imagine the angels bowing down to the rock or to the bird or to the cat or, or the camel. Um, they are a different order of creation. But still, in terms of, say, Lovelace's Gaia hypothesis, that the world itself is some kind of living thing, um, it is uh, certainly at an opposite pole from an animistic or pagan idea that says that there are spirits conscious in kind of trees and rocks and, and, and rivers and things. Uh, but nonetheless, uh, we also believe that Allah in his omnipotence is capable of giving the miracle of discernment of some kind that our kinds of minds are unimaginable to those things. And it's philosophically linked to the question of, um, for instance, in Oxford there's the philosopher uh, Richard Sarabji who's written on this, to what extent is an animal consciousness imaginable to a human consciousness? For instance, if I injure a cat and the cat is feeling pain, can I genuinely analogize with the pain that I would feel if something similar had happened to myself? And on a basic neurological level one can. But in terms of other feelings of sort of humiliation and despair that might be consequent upon the injury, it's rather harder to, to make the analogy. And it continues to be a problem in animal rights uh, philosophy, for instance, the extent to which animal consciousness is genuinely analogous to human consciousness. And it may well be something that we're not ever able to prove. Um, radical human rights activists like Peter Singer, for instance, radical vegetarians and others will say, it's analogous to human consciousness. It has nothing to do with what's in your memory or your ability to, to conceptualize these things. It's consciousness that's affected. Therefore, we should we should uh, we should need animals. The majority of philosophers um, have taken a, a different view. Animal consciousness is of a, a different and, and subordinate kind.